Now to an eyewitness news investigation. An alleged gang of sheriff's deputies within the LA County Sheriff's Department known as the Executioners. Their alleged tattoo depicts a skeleton in flames, an AK-47, and a Nazi-style helmet. Miriam Hernandez. Uh, that, that tattoo reminds me of another uh, cop gang that was found in, uh, I believe, the same state, L uh, California. Um, they had... A flaming skull with a gun, though, and not a like a skeleton or anything. This has a closer look at the pressure mounting on the department to open their files on any groups like this. From inside the Compton Sheriff Station, a deputy's claim filed with a county about an aggressive band of his cohorts allegedly in control. According to the claim, members are branded with a. Ooh. That is their tattoo, huh? Quite, quite interesting. Uh, I, they, they kind of prove the phrase that uh, cops are like gang members. Um, I wonder uh, what uh, what crimes these people have committed. The sinister logo, which is a uh, skeleton wearing a Nazi helmet uh, with an AK-47, laughing and go by a sinister name, the Executioners, which according to the claim does not allow African-American or female members. De oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, with the Nazi hat, I was thinking they're going to be a racist, sexist gang. Uh, yes. Um, this is one problem with uh, cops in America. There are a lot of uh, uh, racist cops in uh in the departments which is uh one reason for the disproportionate response a, a disproportion a disproportionate response to uh black people by cops deputy art gonzalez alleges the deputy gang is trampling on the rights of citizens and targeting him as a whistleblower deputy gonzalez um he's he's afraid for, for his safety right now as he should be this is a Violent gang, you know, violence, shootings, beatings. Why y'all beating him? Claims of excessive force and much more. And wow, wow. That's by uh, probably some of the uh, cops with the gang tattoos. Uh, you got three cops with a guy on the ground and they're beating them, beating the person on the ground. And the timing. As community outcry demands systemic change, allegations in the filing claim that as many as 40% of Compton deputies are inked executioners or prospects. Rumblings reaching... Whoa, 20%, that's a lot. And and a lot of people think it's crazy that uh, people are wanting cops to be held accountable for their actions uh, when there, when there are actual investigations done in the cops, you find out that they're gang members, that they're, uh, you know, running drug rings, um, committing, you know, various acts of crime that they arrest people for. King the sheriff. Well, first of all, there is no gang of any deputies running any station right now. This matter has already been receiving very swift administrative action. We've already taken positive steps pressure for change i bet he is part of the gang is intensifying professor sean kennedy at loyola law school releasing a two-year study of deputy gangs including the executioners often the inking um, is attached to some kind of act of violence including a shooting it's the ultimate expression of your commitment to policing and your commitment to the deputy gang. The that is no different than regular gangs where they uh, do some kind of initiation where you uh, kill a person or you get beaten in to the gang. You know, you're supposed to spill blood of some kind in order to show loyalty. Um, and these are the people that are supposed to protect and serve the community when they're a part of a racist and violent gang. 
Um, yes, these people definitely need to be in jail. The complainant, Deputy Art Gonzalez, is a former U.S. Marine decorated for his service in Iraq, Afghanistan. Here in Compton, once praised for speedy action to save a four-year-old boy shot in the head. The tipping point? Gonzalez says he witnessed a deputy executioner assaulting a fellow deputy. Gonzalez called a confidential tip line for internal affairs. To his shock, he says in his claim, the recording was intercepted. It's within 48 hours. A Okay, so his call got intercepted. Okay, so this is a he uh, Gonzalez is an example of a of a good cop. Uh, he sees a cop assault another, so he tr tries to turn him in, and now we have uh, his call being intercepted, probably uh, with a majority of his department part of the executioner gang. Um, it just more evidence that there needs to be a reform of the justice system because having uh, gang members control uh, police departments is uh, not something we can have in a nation that is supposed to be about law and order. A recording of his supposedly anonymous call was leaked to the gang at the station. He also reports that graffiti appeared at the station entrance. Art is a rat, and that was placed at the keypad to get into the parking lot. Uh, I've heard about uh, uh, cops doing other things when, you know, a cop tries to um, um, oust some type of corruption. They'll put, like, dead rats on the car or in the car uh, as a symbol of the person being a snitch and stuff. Um, it, it, it also goes to show that it's not, uh, uh, we don't have a case of a few bad apples in the police departments, but we have cases of where it's bunches of bad apples in the police department and we may have one good cop here or there. So that's the most visible place in the entire station. Compton, a flashpoint for high profile crimes. Recently, the armored SUV of rapper YG in the middle of a shootout. And an 18 year old security guard, Andres Guardado, chased by two Compton deputies, shot five times in the back. Evidence of the secret deputy. Whoa, shot five times in the back. Uh, more than likely, gang members. Uh, I wouldn't doubt that uh, these uh, racist people have uh, become cops so that they could use their position to uh, kill minorities and get away with it. Deputy Pack emerged in the wrongful death shooting case of Dante Taylor. Compton Deputy Samuel Aldama forced to reveal his tattoo, saying that about 20 deputies at the Compton station have the same ink. Skeletons, which is a symbol of death. There are flames on Aldama's tattoo, uh, which symbolizes he's emerging from hell. There is an AK-47. The Taylor family attorney put up huge billboards looking for potential victims. Aldama denied the group is a gang. The county settled for $7 million. This is all taxpayers. Whoa, $7 million. Yes, and it is all taxpayers' dollars. So th these uh, racist uh, gang members who have been able to become cops are using the protection of the government to be able to kill people and get away with it and anytime you know something does happen they're able to pay off hush money using taxpayers dollars so uh, yes the taxpayers should be very worried Criminal defense lawyers that are going to be lining up, uh, making motions for new trials. The Gonzalez claim alleges the executioners brokered a deal to amp up arrest numbers. Members of the public were stopped for minor infractions. According to the Loyola study, sheriffs over the last five decades have been unable or unwilling to dismantle the deputy gangs. And the money paid out to settle lawsuits when they are caught crossing the line. Yeah, um, 
There is a reason uh, for calls of defunding the police. This just puts, um, in my opinion, a good nail in the coffin of why uh, we do need to defund cops. We need to be able to weed out cops like this in entire departments where it's um, full of racist gang members and get them out because there will never be any justice if our uh, justice system is uh, racially biased. The uh, inspector general gave me a ballpark estimate based on just public information that it's at least $50 million. I think in reality, it's got to be much, much more. Villanueva says he is the first sheriff to impose a policy forbidding such groups. The inspector general says today there is no evidence that the sheriff has pursued any house cleaning. The county's watchdogs want the sheriff's records on all deputy gangs and the names of all members. The sheriff says due process laws protect deputies from such disclosure. As for Gonzalez, yeah, uh, these cops, these, these departments will never get cleaned up from the inside. It's going to have to be from the outside in uh, because uh, they will protect each other as much as possible. And being, uh, being that they are in positions of power, they know how to manipulate things in order to benefit themselves. So... Um, it will have to, it is up to the citizens in order to remove these people from their positions. Zolis now. He wants compensation for the years he had planned to serve, but now cannot. Once you run afoul of the department and you blow the whistle on illegal conduct within the LA County Sheriff's Department, your career is over. Hello, I'm Mark.